standard assertive behavior in it. However, I've taken it a level up. First of all, part one, the acknowledgement. This will be the phrase like, I appreciate you're angry, or I can see that you're upset, or I understand that you want me to work late this evening. Many versions, white and blue. However, we go to, however, it's in Cerise for a reason. I'd say Cerise, what would you call it? Okay, appreciate that you want to call it pink. However, the situation is it's my training, so I'd like to call it Cerise. Would that be okay? Okay, good. Right, well, we'll call it pink for you because you're the client. Okay, thanks, Mandy. So, acknowledge, I appreciate, I understand. The second word can never be anything other than however. It must be however. It can't be the other word. I understand that you want me to work late, but thank you. I don't want to work late, but what you're saying here is, yeah, but in a professional way. Now, any of you got teenagers here? Right. You get the earbuds? You must all get the earbuds. Can you do your room now? Yeah, but I think it's time you didn't, we didn't go out, you know, late tonight. Yeah, but, yeah, but, what's all in there? This is, yeah, but, in a much more effective way. I understand you want to work late, yeah. however, but, but it's, not a, it's not as aggressive as yeah, but. Yeah, but why do you ask? that you want me to work late, however, he's not. Now, part three, many, many, many variations to this. This is the situation is. So, I appreciate you want me to work late this evening, however, situations are, I've got tickets for the theatre. Or, I, understand, I can see that you're angry, however, when you raise your voice like that, I feel very uncomfortable. And many, many different ways of doing it. So, you acknowledge then, use the however word, and then you state the situation. Or in sales, I call this the reasons of I. And then, another word in pink. So, it can't change. It can't be and, if, what, when, if, so. Appreciate. Whatever you want whatever they are. I appreciate your visit. However, the situation is I've got something really interesting to show you. So, it's a great connector. And part five is what you would like to have. So, I would like to make an appointment to see you. Or, I would like you to bring the account up today, Peter. Or, in Mandy's case, I would like you to call it Pink Not Cerise. Or whatever it is. What you're doing here is you're accepting their situation. You're not agreeing with it. You're acknowledging it. We're using the however to switch it into the current situation as you see it. Using the connector word so, leading you on to what you would like to happen. And that is what happens in standard assertiveness, near enough. But my kicker, and what I call the magic bullet of this, is the last part which can never change. And that is, would that be okay? Because it's a soft, gentle question. that be okay? I appreciate that you've all got experience in business and industry and in sales. However, the situation is we're going to look at some interesting things today, so I'd like you to approach this with an open mind and we can see what we can achieve. Would that be okay? Do you recognize that? Okay, when did that? Exactly. Just before we did this, I used this model to make sure you were happy. Go ahead. What do you think? Yeah, expected. Brilliant. Okay, so that's the assertiveness model. Very effective. And you're going to get lots of chance to practice and do some case studies in a minute. What I'd like to say at this point is that if you have any issues with this when you're out in the real world, whether you're watching this online or you've done it in an in-house training session, I'd like to give you my email address, which is adam.kaplan at usptraining.co.uk to say, email me your specific query, and I will answer it personally and give you a way to look at it. Because 
this is my number one tool in the toolbox. And if you can become good at this, you can achieve anything. Okay, what do you think? It's good fun, thank you. Okay, so let's look at some assertion of practice. There are three different questions here that I'd like you to look at. And what I want you to do is consider the three and come up with versions that would work for you. And if you're doing this from our online training, you'll be given a number of solutions that I want you to identify which is the closest solution to the correct one. Let's look at part one. You're working on a complex spreadsheet that needs to be completed within the hour. A colleague approaches and starts talking about the wild weekend you've got planned. How do you deal with it? Number two. Your boss tells you he needs you to work late for the third day this week. But you feel he's taking advantage of your nice behavior and your good work. Three, a customer has received delayed delivery. You've already offered a refund of the carriage charges and apologized, of course. And yet, they're still arguing and wasting lots of your time. You need to be sorted immediately, otherwise you're going to spend the day with this customer instead of helping others. Okay, I'd like to have a go at those and we'll come back and see how we get on that. Okay, so that's the assertiveness model. Because it's so important, I want to go through it with you one more time. Remember, acknowledge the person you're talking to and what they've said or how they are. Use the word however, which can never change. Then get your point across in number three, the situation is, which you can use the word the situation is or anything you want. The word so can never change, it's a perfect connection. Number five is where you tell them what you would like to happen. And once you've stated that, and it can't be a question, it has to be a statement. Number six, your question you 